13 Action News, live at 11. New tonight, our closest look yet at the place where Tony Shea spent the final moments of his life. The picture is bringing some clarity, but also a new mystery. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. Well, the photos have taken 13 investigates months to uncover. And with these images here, will also come some really new developments with the toxicology report as well. And Joe Bartels right now is live near the strip with the pictures you will see only right here on 13 Action News. Joe. Yeah, Todd Trisha, we got more than 150 photos from that scene. It gives us a much better idea of what happened, the magnitude of that fire, but it still leaves some unanswered questions. New London, Connecticut fire authorities providing 13 investigates dozens of pictures, including the badly burned and damaged propane tank and heater as part of their investigation into the fire linked to Las Vegas visionary Tony Shea's death. The cause of the fire at, at this point of the investigation is undetermined. Seen photos show the shed that Tony stayed in during the cold overnight hours of November 18th last year. Fire investigators found this plastic bag that Tony's staff thought he lit on fire to keep warm. It was just a small Ziploc bag and it had uh, a few post-it notes inside it and that was it and it was extinguished. More photos show a cigarette pack and multiple cigarette butts found among the shed's burned interior, a marijuana pipe also charred by fire, a Frenet Branca liqueur bottle, and this blanket that caught fire from a candle earlier in the evening before the fatal blaze. The interviews with the, the witnesses said that um, Tony does enjoy candles um, and that's been well reported. It reminds him of a simpler time in his life is what the common trend or any answers to that was. The photos obtained by 13 Investigates also show the propane heater, which was listed in the fire investigation report as a possible source of the fire. So in a case like this, it's not unusual uh, by the mere fact that there, there are so many different uh, um, sources of the ignition of this fire that uh, you can't eliminate all of them. And then there's the post-it notes, handwritten messages about yoga found among the charred debris. On the exterior door of the shed, more post-it notes caught the eye of investigators. A closer look reveals a list referring to a process which indicates the effort staff spent every 10 minutes in the middle of the night checking on Tony at his own request. Another post-it reading, guarantee Tony gives a way to solve each annoying aspect with a timestamp of 2.07 a.m. A police report says the post-it notes and logs were written by Tony's personal assistant. There's also photos of the desperate rescue attempt after the final fire was discovered. Fire extinguishers and other items scattered around the aftermath. But still, the true cause or reason for the fire remains a mystery. I don't know that you could really indicate what's in somebody's state of mind at the time. And police do not expect to file charges in this case. Authorities ruled Tony's death accidental. Now, we do understand that he was staying in that shed after having a fight with the homeowner and girlfriend of that property in Connecticut. As for those toxicology reports, the results have come in, but they won't be released publicly, citing Connecticut state law. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Now, Joe, thank you. And 13 Investigates has been covering every angle of Tony Shea's life and also the circumstances surrounding his death. And you can watch the entire series on our website right now. Just head to KTNV.com and click on the 13 Investigate section.